what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a little demonstration. Now here we've got a, a refrigeration compressor and the suction's wide open. The discharge line right here is going into this gauge set and I've got the valve open. And I'm going to start this compressor and when I start it I'm going to put this hose into this water. It's going to demonstrate kind of how much gas is, is moving through this thing. And then I'm going to raise the pressure just simply by closing off this valve. And you'll see the pressure as it goes up on the gate. The idea behind this is to give you kind of a practical demonstration of how much re-expansion of gas affects the pumping of gas, the volume of gas that's pumped. As this pressure goes up, I'm going to re-expand so uh, as the piston goes down in the cylinder of the compressor, the re-expansion of gas is going to limit the amount of gas pumped. The higher the pressure, the more it's limited. So that re-expansion can be it can be demonstrated simply by the amount of bubbles that come out. I'm going to throw that in there like that. And with the valve open, it's going to make a mess like it already has. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this and see what happens. Okay, now you can see what it's dumping. And we're showing about 50 pounds. I can even get it less than that. And so a uh, lot of gas passing through. Now, I'm going to start closing off this valve, which is going to restrict this. Now we're up to 50. This isn't too bad. It's still doing pretty good. Now we're getting up to 100. And you can see there's a noticeable reduction. 150, more yet, 200, more yet, we'll go to 250, that's about all I'm going to go. Okay, but 250, you can see there's quite a bit of difference in how much gas is actually moving through here. Now watch this, okay, then it really takes off. So. There's quite a bit of difference in the amount of gas pumped by the head pressure. That higher head pressure is going to increase the re-expansion of the gas. Okay, hope this demonstration isn't entirely stupid, and maybe it gives a practical idea of what the re-expansion of gas in the piston compressor means. That's it on this one.